today we will be taking a first look at the Opera browser. I'm going to give you guys my first impressions and my opinions of the browser and whether I think you should download it or not. So let's get started. Welcome back to Z2 Tours and here we are in the browser Opera. And if you want to download this by the way just go to opera.com forward slash browser. It's going to tell you what is faster then the fastest and it'll have a download link there you can download and install it yourself there's no need to go through that so up here on the left as you can see it looks quite attractive it has a menu where it drops down a menu and you can synchronize opera you can go into history bookmarks all that good stuff right on the top here over the address bar it has an, an option to add new tabs and you can have multiple tabs open at once and then you have this speed dial option where basically you put in your most popular websites and it'll have them there for you and you can customize that alternatively you can search with a, uh, a search engine like Bing or Google or Yahoo now over here on the left we have a back button a forward button as well as a URL bar now the home button you can customize that as well to whatever you want as well as on the right here we have a search where you can search with whatever you want Google Bing Amazon eBay or you can just manage your search engines where basically you can add a new search engine so you can search whatever website you want so that's a really nice idea there by Opera down here on the bottom we have this little options here which are exclusive to Opera we have Opera Turbo which is a cool little feature for Opera where basically it makes if you have a slow connection like a dial up connection or whatever you can turn on Opera Turbo and basically it will compress the web page to make it smaller for you now in my opinion it's a bit after its time where most people now have fast broadband connections but if it was a few years ago this would have been hot 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 and Opera could have really taken over the IE and all that kind of stuff it also has Opera Link and Opera Unite where basically you can just synchronize all your your browsers and do it on multiple computers and all that stuff you have this panels where basically it opens up a little sidebar um, you can add panels you can add widgets you can go into your bookmarks or your history all that good stuff it's a very very nice feature so what kind of speed do we get out of the Opera browser well I'm not actually going to do a test because that's going to come later on. I'm doing a test between all the browsers. But basically if you just open up YouTube.com you can see how fast, fast that loaded there. It's very very quick indeed. It is meant to be one of the fastest browsers but my test will tell you whether or not it is indeed. So let's go to YouTube.com forward slash Z tutorials and see how that loads. The content loaded pretty pretty quick there. Uh, where I'd see the video loads and the video is done. So it loads very very quick and uh, I like the way it displays its content nothing seems out of place here everything looks good and clean and crisp down here on the bottom you have this view where basically you can you can fit to it you can show images or you can just zoom the page that's a nice little feature but every browser has that so there's nothing new there up here on the top we have this little trash can where basically you can open up your last closed tabs which is a nice feature if you close the tab by accident you can just reopen where you left off so overall I like this browser I do think it's fast it's quite fast indeed now if you wanted to use this make sure you download it at opera.com forward slash browser. So thank you all for watching and that was my video. If you missed my video on IE9 beta which is the new browser from Internet Explorer and I think you're going to be very very satisfied with that browser. Click on the little Internet Explorer logo there on the left to go to that video. Otherwise you can go to my browser comparison video where basically I compared op, um, it was Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, um, Safari and some other browser I forget what it was or uh, basically you can just subscribe down there by clicking on the little subscribe button but i'm going to leave you guys here thank you all for watching and this is z tutorials signing out